What you guys, today we're going to take a look at how to turn your Raspberry Pi 4 into a tablet. Now, if you've got a Raspberry Pi 4 lying around, you can put it inside of the Raspad 3 and turn it into a fully working portable tablet. Uh, so it's a really decent idea, and I'm going to show you how to set this up and how to basically use it. So let's go ahead and get it out of the box. So here we can see we have the Raspad 3. You can install Windows 11 on here, Linux, you can install Android on here, whatever it is you want to install on here. It does come with the Raspad 3 operating system as well, which you can install, and I'll share that later on. So that's compatible with Raspberry Pi 4, weighs about 887.5 grams, one year limited hardware warranty, three to five hours battery life on this. It does have an IPS panel on here with resolutions of 1280 by 800, aspect ratio 16 by 10. Now let's have a look at what we get in the box here. So you're going to get your user manual here. This helps you uh, basically set it up. It's really easy. It's got color pictures and shows you the cables that you need to connect to your Raspberry Pi and to the main board inside the actual unit itself. So this is everything you get in the box here, which we're going to be putting together. Don't worry, it looks pretty daunting, but it is very straightforward and easy to do. And I'll show you step by step. Very easy. So you've got all your cables here to connect your Pi 4 to the board. You've got your micro SD card ribbon cable with your accelerometer in there as well. You've got your fan and you've got some screws inside here and some heat sinks for the actual Raspberry Pi and a screwdriver. So let's get started with this. This is the main unit here. You can see it's quite chunky. Um, it does have some LED lights on the side to show you when it's powered on and how much power you've got left in the battery. You've got your brightness, your volume and your power button. And your micro SD card slot on there as well. On the back, you've got your GPIO on there, so you can put you can still get access to those. And on this side, we've got our Ethernet, we've got our three USB 3.0 ports on here, we've got HDMI port on there, and also headphone audio and power jack on there. Now, on the bottom, we've got some uh, ventilation on here, and you can see here as well, we do have another port there which says CSI on it. So what we need to do is remove the uh, back panel here. And uh, what I'm going to do is put it on this book here and basically remove these five screws so I can get access to the actual inside here because we need to undo it so we can use these cables and to put in our Raspberry Pi 4. Now, you don't get the Raspberry Pi 4 included on this. It's just the actual tablet itself. So whether you're going to be using this for programming, music and video, games or office software, this uh, laptop has you covered. So here we have the uh, bottom open now. You can see the dual speakers in there. You can see the main board on there as well. And you've got the little board on the side, which we're going to connect our, um, our actual Pi to. So we've got that battery pack here because it is battery operated as well. So here we have our main board and the Pi will sit right here. So let's go ahead and uh, connect all this up and I'll share how easy it is. Very simple. So I'm going to put this down here and uh, get the Raspberry Pi 4. Out. Now I'm using a Raspberry Pi 4 8 gigabyte version. So once we've got the Raspberry Pi 4 out, you can see it comes in a little box here. You can purchase these online and it's going to sit inside inside our actual unit here. So what I'm going to do is put the Ethernet cable in first and I'm going to plug in all of the cables here into the Raspberry Pi 4 before I screw it in there because I think it's just going to be a lot more easier because there's not a lot of room inside here. So I'm just going to put the USB extension cable in here. Make sure you get it around the right way. There we go. And once we've got those in, I'm going to put the HDMI cables in. And we've got the Type-C connector in there as well. So I try and speed this process up. And you need to make sure the HDMI connectors are in the right A and B section here because the cables are slightly different lengths so you can reach the main board. So make sure you get them in the right ones, otherwise you're going to end up with one shorter one and it won't fit. So let's put the Type-C connector in, and that's now all done. So we now need to get our ribbon cable here for our micro SD card slot, and the micro accelerator in here that goes on to the board itself. And I'll show you how to put that on. It's very simple stuff. And this will help with the rotation of the uh, tablet. Now I'm putting the micro SD card ribbon cable here to connect it to the Pi 4. You really want to do this before you screw down the Raspberry Pi 4 because you won't be able to get access 
to the bottom of the Raspberry Pi 4 once it's screwed down, and it's going to be virtually impossible to get that ribbon cable in. So once I've got the ribbon cable plugged in onto the Raspberry Pi 4, I can now screw it down to the actual tablet. And there's four screws, so I just need to tighten these up. Once I've got the four screws in, I can then go ahead and put the ribbon cable in and also the micro accelerator here. So we're going to put that on as well. Let's go ahead and do that. So it's just a pull up little catch for the ribbon cable and you just push it down, push the catch down. And what we need to do here is just push this on over to the pins on the left and basically just push down with the screwdriver like nice and gently and that will push the micro accelerator all the way down um, to the bottom here. There we go. That's all now done. And basically, we've plugged them into the main board on the other side. It is a bit tight in there, so you just have to take your time, but it is pretty simple and easy to do. Now I'm just going to put the heat sinks onto the GPU and the CPU, and we're going to go ahead and put all those on. There's three of them in the kit, so just go ahead and put those on there. So let me go over and put these on. It's just come with little sticky pads on the back. And then once we've done these, I need to put the fan on and plug that into the main board as well and screw that into the bottom of the tablet case. And that's just four screws, pretty straightforward stuff. And it should look something like that when it's all done. You can see the ribbon cables now in. We've got everything all on the way it should be. All the cables are plugged in and uh, it should, should work pretty well there. Now, all of these instructions are in the user manual, which makes it super easy to install this setup, even if you've never dabbled with something like this. But if you want to get yourself a little project for your Raspberry Pi, if you've got it lying around and you're not using it, then something like this might be a little project for you to uh, get stuck into. So you can see here I've screwed down the fan to the bottom of the tablet and gone into the main board here. It tells you how to do that also in the user manual as well. Now this tablet's not going to run without a operating system, so we're going to use the Raspad uh, OS, and you can go to the download section and download the latest version this is work in progress they are updating it on a regular basis to try and iron out any sort of issues or bugs but you can put in android onto this unit as well or, or anything like that it's entirely up to you we'll run windows 11 as well if you want to see those videos let me know in the comments section below so i've got etcher downloaded i've got my micro sd card slot plugged into an adapter and plugged it into the computer we're going to now choose our image as you can see here the raspad operating system now we've just got to select our drive. So I'm going to select the right drive here. Make sure you select the right one. All the stuff on that drive will be erased. Click flash and it's going to go ahead and erase all of the data on that drive and go ahead and install our image on there. So you can see here it's starting to flash the image onto our micro SD card. And that's now completed and I can now plug that into the Raspad 3 tablet and you'll get the setup page here. And this means you have to put in your language. So it's really nice and smooth. You can use the rotate on this as well. Rotate's nice. You can use it as a little monitor screen if you want to with an external keyboard, if that's your thing. I'm gonna choose English here and it's asking to reboot. The picture quality is much better in real life. You can see there's some uh, bars on the screen here. That's from my camera. It's an IPS panel, which means it is super sharp. Let's go ahead and restart uh, the tablet. And uh, it's going to take a little few seconds to restart here. And there we are. We're at the desktop of the operating system. And this is the Raspad 3 uh, operating system. So, yeah, you can do whatever you like from here. It's fully loaded with stuff inside here. Um, so if you want to use this operating system or you want to use another one, you can do. You can play games on here within reason uh, it can play old retro games um, if you want to run android on it or windows on here you can do um, depending on what you want to do with yours uh, you can do just about anything with this tablet uh, because it acts like a normal tablet so of course you can install just about anything you want or do what you like with it whether you like gaming on here let me know in the comment section below if you want to see some uh, gaming on here or you want to see something else me install another operating system maybe windows 11 or something like that and I'll make that video for you. This is just really an overview of the actual Raspad 3 and how you set it up and how you get it working. I will show you some video content to see how it plays video back, and you'll be able to see that it's really super sharp. Um, I know the picture looks a little bit blown out on here, and that's because of my camera, but it is super sharp. I can tell you when you're looking at it, 
in, in real person here. So let's go ahead and play some video footage here. So as you can see here, it's playing this video footage very easily. And uh, you can go on YouTube, you can do all that sort of stuff with this tablet as well. And uh, yeah, pretty smooth as you can see here, no problems at all playing this video. So maybe you've got some movies you like to play, some movies on here, or maybe you like to do some gaming or something like that, or coding. Then by all means, you can use this tablet for wherever you like. It is quite chunky, uh, but again, it's got a Raspberry Pi inside there, so... It's amazing what you can do with these Raspberry Pis nowadays. So if you're looking to get yourself something like this, then I'll leave all the links and information in the video description. Anyway, I think that's going to be about it for this video. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a big shout out to all my YouTube members who will join my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support, and I shall see you again for another video real soon. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.